G'day viewers, Troy from Troy's Digital Arts channel. Here I am out on a local hunt. This time I'm hunting an area that I hunted about four years ago. Found a few interesting items, but nothing substantially old. But I know this, uh, yeah, this this uh, divide up there and this uh, this piece of land here um, that's divided by roads it was definitely here back in 1938 on the old. Uh, 938 aerial imagery. Anyhow, I thought I'd give this another crack. I might find might find some more stuff. I only briefly hunted it before, but yeah. But anyway, nah, it's been here since it was here in the 30s, so I reckon I might find some good stuff if I look hard enough. I don't know if others have been here, but I imagine they would have. Everywhere locals been well hunted. Anyway, um, yeah. See how I go, see on the first target. Okay viewers, been a pretty disappointing hunt so far. Just just uh, followed that mid mid strip that divides the roads all out to the end. Found nothing but bottle caps and cancel. It was crap. And I bet the and also it was got high mineralization readings on my detector. I'm guessing they must have laid some gravel over that area too. Anyhow. I've moved up to another nature strip area that's that's across the road. Brown bugger. Now I reckon this area's got a bit of potential, so I'm gonna give it a go. If I don't succeed, I'll just move back up the uh, mid strip and hunt more of that that uh that other that other land area that I was I started out at. Alright, so next target. Okay viewers, first decent find of the day, one dollar. Yeah, it's down probably about five or six centimetres. Alright, see you on the next target. Alright viewers, looks like my luck's starting to change for the better now. Just found me a penny. Commonwealth penny that is. Dated 1924. Not a common year for for the copy pennies I find. Don't find many 924s about, so that's a cool year to find. Not bad condition either. Alrighty, see you next target. Okay viewers, found an old Pepsi Cola cap. One of the more interesting bottle cap finds of the day. I'd say 70s, 80s period this cap dates to. Alright, see you next target. Okay viewers, heading up the uh, mid strip now, back towards the car, yeah, just found this uh, Lockwood padlock, big beefy thing, alright, see you next target. Okay viewers, I'm not far from the car, back where I pretty much started, but just on the other side of the road, hunting this nature strip here, where there's a uh, new apartments being built. Anyway, found this thingy. Probably a hose extension maybe. Yeah, not really having much luck today. Um, well, I'm happy I found that, that uh, penny and that dollar on one of the other nature strips, but around here it's just putrid, nothing. Just absolutely nothing. <laughs> nothing but trash. But anyway, I'm going to hunt a little while longer and and then yeah, I'll head off. I'm getting a, getting a bit of light rain, a bit of sprinkle. If it starts falling raining, I'm out of here. All right, see the next target if I find anything good. Okay, viewers, brown mugger number two, two cent piece. All right, just hunt around this uh, this uh, little park that's connected to the uh, mid strip. See what I can find around here. There actually used to be a building on this. This particular, this particular uh, little park. Yeah, as I said, I've had it here before. Didn't really find much. I'll give it. I'm just going to concentrate around here for a little while. I may, then I may head off somewhere else and hunt if the weather doesn't go bad. All right, see you next target. Okay, viewers, I decided to move on to my favourite uh, rocky area. That's 
seems to keep on producing year after year even when I thought I've hunted the place out yeah now it's been sprinkling rain on and off a bit it's still it's still sprinkling rain so I had to don a coat and head out here and do a bit of hunting after this wild weather we've been having over the past so many weeks you never know what could it could dredge up yeah hopefully I might find something here anyway see on the first target okay viewers it looks like the honey hole area is not producing today probably come back in a year's time and hunt that spot or six months maybe I might get lucky again <laughs> but yeah I'm now hunting around the other area nearby and found myself an old button yeah I was expecting this to be a little one of those little pesky bullet shells but uh, nice to see it's it's a, it's a relic all right cool see you next target hey viewers found a large bullet casing normally I find those pesky little ones around here which are so annoying that plus they ring up nice and high too those little bastards hey yeah found a big one at the top see if we can get a if there's any information on the bottom can't see anything anyway see you next target okay viewers found this little doodad I'm gonna take a wild guess it's probably a ring lug or something using electronics to screw onto a terminal or something but may not be Took a bit to find it. Anyway, see you next target. Okay, viewers, found a medium sized bullet casing. Oh, and I just spotted a piece of china with my eyes. Um, have a look at this. Nice little bit of beautiful china. Pretty cool, huh? Alrighty. Anyway, see you next target. Okay, viewers, looks like someone's done a little bit of uh, graffiti on the rocks. Normally, you see us on the walls and stuff, but once in a while, you'll find it on the rocks too. It says B plus T. I mean, I, I just question what's the point of uh, putting somebody's initials on the rocks when any random person wouldn't have the slightest clue who the heck are those people's initials. Anyway, whatever. That's a bit of uh, rock graffiti for you. Alright, see you next target. Hey, okay, viewers, I normally find a lot of sinkers, but once in a while I find an old fish hook. This one looks pretty chunky, so it's been down there for God knows how many decades. Alrighty, see you next target. Okay viewers, on my way back to the car now, I'm just going, working my way up the hill, it's starting to rain more. Anyhow, I've just find, found myself a slide lock. If I can clean this up and it still moves freely, then it could be useful. Alright, see you next target. Okay viewers, continuing on the hunt from uh, the other day when I was hunting a mid-strip area and hunting at my, one of my favourite rocky areas along the coast. Here I am back at that uh, local uh, bush reserve area. Public estate area that is. That I've been finding stuff at. Anyway, as you might notice I am uh, now shooting in 60 frames a second. I had no idea I had this feature on my, on my mobile phone until now. Yeah, so yeah, what a transition. Yeah, I've just been discovering options on my on my phone on my uh, phone camera app, and it just I'm just astounded that I missed that I missed all these options. Anyway, enough of that. Here I am, metal detecting in 60 frames a second, it's fluid motion video. Let's see how I go at this uh, public estate area once again. I'm just hunting more around where the uh, old homestead is, 
try and you know, sort of move left the field to areas nearby that I've not really hunted around much and see how I go. Hopefully I'll find something good. Sound the first interesting target. Okay viewers, first interesting target. Found this uh, could be in a could be an old uh, lipstick container. I don't know what it is. But it's busted open that side. It's got an inner casing. Anyhow, yeah, having a little bit of trouble focusing this camera since I switched it to 60 frames a second for some reason. Uh, I'll work out the. Uh, idiosyncrasies of this camera pretty shortly anyway first interesting target see you on the next target okay viewers next interesting target not far from that alleged uh, lipstick container uh, Colgate cream tube try and get this thing to focus Anyway, it's uh, yeah, Colgate Ribbon Dental Cream. Interesting. So it's toothpaste, seems so made by Colgate. I'd say probably date the 1970s, possibly 1980s, my guess. Maybe even 60s, I don't know. Anyway, it's an interesting find. See you next target. Okay viewers, it's got a squawker of a signal, decided to dig it anyway, um, usually I don't dig big stuff, particularly in trashy places, but here I dig almost anything. Anyway, this is one, um, I don't know, I'm going to take a wild guess, this could be the uh, outer framing of, uh, of a doorknob, that's my guess, or it could be the outer framing of, a, of an old uh, ceiling light. But yeah kind of an interesting find so yeah anyhow I'm gonna try and search the surrounding area see if I could find anything else all right see our next target hey viewers another interesting find not pretty much right next to that uh that framing thingy probably off a light or a doorknob anyway this is some kind of gear thing looks like you got a you got a wheel here you got a wheel at the back and uh, I think that could be a crank anyway don't know what it is if anybody can tell me comment below See you next target. Okay viewers, I'm now pretty much hunting at the uh, homestead and uh, here I found a uh, hook of some kind, probably a meat hook. Yeah, I'm debating whether to take it with me or not. I try not to take the big iron relics as I keep saying in the videos unless they're of major importance. Yeah, I'll probably just rebury this where I found it and move along. But anyway, it's an interesting find. See you on the next target. Okay, viewers, still hunting around the uh, old homestead. Nothing, nothing, you know, remarkable found yet. But anyway, just found this nice uh, lemonade cap. AHD brand. Yeah, unfortunately shooting 60 frames a second, I'm very limited with autofocus capability, which sucks, but anyway, I have to focus it about here. Anyway, it's a AHD lemonade cap, dated 70s I reckon, in mostly decent enough shape, definitely a collectible to me. See you next target. Alrighty viewers, I believe I found my first pre-decimal for today. Um, 
yeah I've got a coin shaped object down here in the in the dirt and um, bring up 92 93 it sounds like it's going to be probably a rue penny I'd say let's have a look I'm betting it's uh yeah it's definitely a penny of some sort let's just see whether it's a rue penny or something else I'd say so I'll try and clean it somehow bear with me Um, yeah, I'm going to stop camera and clean it up a bit and get back to you. Hey viewers, definitely a Rue Penny. Got to get the bloody thing to focus. Anyway, not if, it looks to be a 1952 Rue, very common year. Find so many 52 roos, it's ridiculous. Oh, yeah, cool. Glad there's still predestines to be found around here. Let's hope I can find some really, really old ones that date back to when the property was first erected in the 1900s. So, anyway, see you next target. Okay, viewers, just eyeballed a key right in the soil here. Just on the top, the obligatory key. You must find when you go hunting. <laughs> All right. See you next target. All righty, viewers. I just found me a castrol badge. Beautiful. It says on the back, uh, use only, change all, every sixty days. Probably not all that old, probably 80s, 90s vintage, but that's yeah, still a cool find. Anyway, finally worked out the idiosyncrasies with my auto focusing on this camera. I have to spot focus when I use 60 frames a second. And I can get it pretty decently focused as you can see. But yeah, the auto focusing is just not very good on 60 frames a second for some reason, and I'm not happy about that, but at least I can spot focus it. Alright, anyway, see you next target. Alright viewers, found me another Rue Penny. Another 1952 Rue. Most common year of Rue Pennies I've ever found. Anyway, cool, two predestines on board. This one's in pretty butte condition. So I'm happy about its condition. And I'm happy to find another Rue Penny. About a couple of years ago I was finding so many of them that they, I kind of got over them but now they're, now they're really scarce I'm excited to find them again. <laughs> but anyway, cool. Second pre-decimal on board. Not going to hunt around for much longer. I've got, got to uh, yeah, go home, have lunch and get on with the rest of the day. I've got a lot to do at home so yeah, going to wrap things up shortly. Anyhow, see you next target. Hey okay, viewers, something I occasionally find in my hunts, golf balls. Yeah, it's amazing where you find golf balls about. I've even, I've even found golf balls way out in the sticks, <laughs> how they get there. I guess some people are pretty keen golfers, they're willing to, to whack their balls in the bushes <laughs> for some reason. Anyway. Yeah, this one's in pretty decent shape. Alright, see you next target. Alright viewers, would you believe just nearby a golf ball? I found me another golf ball. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I'll have it. A nice fluoro green one too. Alrighty. Uh, see you in the next target. Hey okay, viewers, just found me a metal stud. I would not be surprised if this came off a horse saddle. Yeah, that's how it looks. If anybody can tell me otherwise what it actually likely came off, comment below. But my guess has come off a leather horse saddle. 
All right, see you next target. Hey viewers, just found me some kind of uh, some kind of tack thing. Looks pretty old. No idea what it is. Some kind of tack with a bulbous head on the end. If anybody can tell me what these things are, comment below. All right. I'm working my way back to the car now, so yeah, if I find something really good on the way, I'll make another video. See you in the next target, otherwise, see you in the next hunt. Okay, viewers, I'm now in a new location. It's uh, a couple of days later. I'm, um, yeah, just hunting a nearby suburb, um, hunting a, an old tree. A bit of land here. It's, the rest is all just road, and yeah, this area used to be connected to a sports field and and all that, and yeah. But yeah, most of the land area that I wanted to hunt is now parking lots and uh, yeah, roads and and uh, fast food restaurants sort of thing. Uh, but they have left the old tree and I have actually hunted this area before and found a single penny near the tree So I'm just gonna hunt around here again and Yeah, a few years on from my last hunt here and see if I can find anything else now that I've got a better detector Let's See what I can find Okay viewers, first uh, remotely interesting target Some kind of a uh, could be just a tar pilot well, not exactly. Something that probably goes over a tube, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, see you on the next one. There you go, See a coin under there. 20 cent. Ring up surprisingly low, low though. Anyways, cool. 20 cents richer. See you on the next target. Hey viewers, got a big low signal that sound really chunky. I was expecting it to be something to be you know something ordinary like cancelor, but it turns out to be this this uh pull knob. And it says something uh nylon glide. Don't know what it's off. Could be could be out of a car maybe, I don't know. One of those older cars. That could be an yeah. You know, could be one of those pull on chokes or something in a car. I don't know. Um, if anybody can tell me what this is, comment below. It's an interesting find. See you next target. Hey, okay, viewers. Found me 50 cent. Nice. Now 70 cents richer. See you in the next target. Hey, okay, viewers. Got a cracker of a signal. Was hoping it'd be an old coin, but unfortunately, it's just a uh, some sort of a uh, pipe fitting. Anyway, can't win them all. All right, see you next target. Hey, viewers, don't normally film ring pools, and I found a few of them around this tree. But here's something you don't see every day in ring pools: a few of them daisy chained together. In one way, kind of cool. So I guess somebody was sitting there, probably a bit bored, or in a bit of a creative mood, and they just linked a few ring pulls together. Probably make a necklace out of that, and make it look like uh, look like bling. <laughs> Interesting concept. Anyway. Three ring pulls, days chained together. See you the next target. Yeah, how's this for a coincidence? Found another uh, three ring pulls, days chained together. I guess somebody probably was attempting to make a necklace. <laughs> well, they're just sitting there, just daisy chained a few together, chuck it on the ground because they're bored. I don't know. Yeah. Cool. See you on the next target. Hey viewers. 
just uh, dug this uh, barrel tap, vintage barrel tap, deep down below. Let's see if we can focus her in. There we go. Yeah, I found a few barrel taps in my four years of detecting. I believe that fitting I found, that uh, screw-on fitting, probably must belong to this this uh, barrel tap, I think. Yeah, it was down a fair way. I'd say this probably dates probably 50s, 60s, maybe 70s. Alright, see our next target. Alrighty viewers, first goldie fawn of the afternoon. Two bucks. Beautiful. Now I'm two dollars and seventy cents richer. Alrighty, see you next target. There he is. Found another twenty cent piece. So I'm now two dollars and ninety cents richer. Beautiful. See you next target. Okay viewers, got some freak weather happening here. It was all sunny and everything and then the clouds just come over and now I've got bloody rain. Yeah, probably going to hang in the car for a little bit. Might be passing shower. Otherwise I'm just going to put a raincoat on and keep hunting. Probably going to move on to another new, another location now. There you go. we'll see how this weather pans out first. If it's just too rainy, I'll probably just have to call it a day. Alright. See you on the uh, next location if I get out to one. Okay viewers, here's a wrap up of my last uh, few hunts out at some various places local. Yeah, as I keep saying, I'm pretty hard pushed to find things these days and... Um, these days when I hunt local, I usually do a few hunts before I'm, I make a uh, video compile. But anyhow, here we, here we have a bunch of uh, things of interest. Nothing heaps spectacular, but still not a bad haul. Anyway, starting with the coins. Found, uh, found three pre-decimal coins, all pennies. Dating 1924, 1952, and 1952. Made a little bit of cash. So we got $3.90 in cash and a couple of brown buggers. A few bits and bobs here and there. A little bit of china. An old button. A few, uh, I don't know if that's a ring lug or something. Mm, got this thing, this stud thing here with a with a knob on the end. And that's probably a rivet off a horse saddle, maybe. Anyway, found a couple of uh, bullet casings. Found this nice uh, Castrol badge, the obligatory key, a few interesting bottle caps. Uh, this old uh, Colgate dental ribbon, ribbon dental cream. So it's probably toothpaste, most likely toothpaste. A uh, rotted uh, bit of a uh, toy cap gun. This uh, plastic doodad. Probably off, probably goes off, connects to a shaft that you pull on some piece of machinery or maybe in a car. Uh, yep, a couple of uh, nice golf balls, uh, barrel tap nozzle, still don't know what this thing is, don't think, I can't see it being lipstick now, maybe it could be a car cigarette lighter, that's my uh, wild guess, yeah we've got a bit of plumbing bits, Lockwood padlock, this uh, gear thing, it's pretty crusty, don't know what's off, it's pretty well had it. And uh, this uh, 
framing piece which I'm guessing goes around an old uh, light bulb or an old uh, doorknob. Anyway, anyway, not a bad hunt. A uh, few hunts, very scarce, but and the finds are a bit ordinary, but still all right. Anyway, good enough to make a video. Alrighty, hope you enjoyed this uh, few hunts. See you on the next metal detecting adventure wherever I hunt next. This is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel signing out.